nation, we've got Palmer United getting up telling us what's wrong, what they can do, what they're going to do for us, etc, etc. All of that's good, okay? But it's, quite honestly, a load of rubbish from a certain perspective. Correct. Why? Because if we elect one or two One Nation people or Palmer United or whatever else, and it's as I've put to all these parties myself, it won't make a rat's of difference. Why not? It won't make a rat's of difference for one reason, although they, don't get me wrong, we've got to elect them. We do have to elect someone, and it's going to have to be one of the minor parties. There's no doubt about that, okay? But just electing a minor party is not going to do it. Why not? Because we've seen it now. Hanson and Craig Kelly and all the rest of it, they get up in Parliament, they try and introduce something. The Labor and the Liberal Party will just stand up and shut them down. Absolutely. Okay? So do you understand when all these politicians are getting up in front of you and trying to sell themselves, they're wasting your time and mine? Thank although, you. Although, yes. although they're we right. do have to vote for them. We've got to put <laughs> someone in there. Now, you're better off putting an independent, if no one else, because we can control independence. If we can control anyone, we can control an independent because they don't have a party machine behind them. Yeah. Okay, but be very careful of these minor parties. They're not working for you, most of them. They're working to get their own people in. Yeah. So now I've told you why, why you maybe should or shouldn't vote for them. So I said to you, you can fix this. Okay, I said to this guy I was talking over there before, you can actually fix this at the next election. We can actually fix this country at the next election. How do you do it? Easy. Put the sitting member last. These politicians are terrified of this message. Put the sitting member last. Why is that? Because if, I, if I'm in a Liberal seat at the moment, if I put the Liberal Party right at the bottom of my how to vote card, right at the bottom of my how to vote card, then you might put Labor and Greens and then all the rest of them, you stack them up as you like. Okay? If I'm in a Labor seat, I put Labor right at the bottom of the how to vote card. Understand this. Okay, you've got to put the sitting member at the bottom of the how to vote card. Liberal in a liberal seat, Labor in a Labor seat. What happens if we do that? Understand this. If we can get this message all over Australia, at the end of this election, Morrison won't have a seat any longer. Okay, Barnaby Joyce won't have a seat any longer. None of their front benches and back backbenchers will have a seat any longer. Not only that, but Albanese and all his crew, they won't have a seat any longer either. Can you imagine if you throw, throw out every single Labor and Liberal politician at the next election, you've decimated the Labor and Liberal Party. You will change this country overnight. Overnight at the next election, you will change this country. Great but message. that's what you have. But there's side issues. Do you understand that? Yeah. People will try to bring up all these side issues. There's side issues. Yeah. I'm okay? Here. That's the truth of the matter. There's side issues. Put the sitting member at the bottom of your how to vote card, Liberal or Labor. And do you understand that you will destroy this Liberal Labor coalition within the next election? Do you understand that? Yeah. yeah. Now, what I'm asking you to do is this fellow's putting it on video, okay? All of you need to put this on video. I hope to be able to do this talk maybe on Saturday because a lot of people are getting up there with a whole heap of stuff yeah, telling bullshit. us what's wrong, okay? But no one's given us a solution. Yeah, well, I'm giving absolutely. you the solution.